into orbit by 900,000 pounds of thrust and the screams of thousands of children, Tim Peake blasts into the history books. So we have liftoff and an absolutely rapturous send-off for Major Tim Peake. He's not the first man in space, he's not even the first Briton in space. But the attitude here seems to be, so what? He's going into space. And so in the comparative quiet of the Soyuz capsule, Major Peak, alongside an American and Russian colleague, began his journey to the International Space Station. And just there we see the four strap-on boosters jettison. Once at escape velocity, a quick thumbs up to everyone back home. Major Tim is the first publicly funded Brit in space, and the first to visit the ISS. His day began as Russian space tradition dictates, signing his room door before leaving on his five and a half month mission. A ritual begun by Yuri Gagarin, the first human in space. Back at the Science Museum, we caught up with Alexei Leonov, a contemporary of Gagarin's and the first spacewalker in 1965. Your reaction to that very noisy uh, farewell to Tim Peake? Slova, fantastica. Полное восхищение. Я не ожидал, что будет такая реакция. И это было у нас в 61 году, когда полетел Юрий Гагарин. Вот так вся страна ликовала. Все дети, взрослые, от радости обнимались, плакали. Вот сегодня я это наблюдал здесь, в Англии. <laughs> Mid-interview, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield came to greet the legend. Firm friends. So what are the current differences between us and Russia? На земле сейчас мало места, где бы не стреляли. Везде кто-то воюет, убивает друг друга, террористы. Только на МКС свободная земля. After the near hysteria at launch, we still haven't reached peak peak. The astronaut said he wanted his mission to inspire future generations. Well, he certainly achieved that. How was that? amazing! Just over an hour ago, the Soyuz module docked successfully 400 kilometers above us. A dramatic arrival, the docking radar failed, leading to a rare manual approach. Within the hour, it's expected the hatches will open and the first Briton will start life aboard the International Space Station.